This summer, I'm at Vanderbilt, and we're going to be in the microfluidics and lab on a chip lab. I'll be working with uh, Barbaros Chetton, and uh, we will be uh, putting some things together to perform some dye electrophoresis experiments. I'll introduce you to uh, Barbaros, and we will look at some different things here, and we're going to take you through the uh, manufacturing process as well. Uh, so. Pay attention, hope you enjoy it, and off we go into the lab. Um, this is Barbaros Chitin. <laughs> I'm a PhD student in Vanderbilt Mechanical Engineering Department. I am from Turkey. Now we are going to demonstrate how to manufacture a level one chip device by using soft photography. So the first step is to take out the glass, clean glass glass, which will hold in the acetone for more than one day, and clean it with the eye water. Compressed air to remove the excess liquid. And place the clean glass slide on the hot plate for dehydration. So we have been waiting for 5 to 10 minutes to dehydrate the liquid. Now I am going to place the glass slides. Make the surface cleaner for a better bonding with the extruator. Extruator is a special material which we are going to use to fabricate our mold. So we need a clean surface to get a better bonding with the, between glass and extruder. Their surfaces very clean and they are ready for the extruator. Instead of this glass slide, I may fabricate my mold on top of a silicone vapor. But in that case, silicone vapor is a little bit more expensive than the glass slide. So glass slide works for us anyways, so we are into glass slides. This is special material. What is its specialty? Once it sees the light, the light at a certain wavelength, it becomes solidified. So we need to keep it in a dark, dark uh, place because if, if it sees lights, everything will be uh, ruined. So we are going to use a series 2050, which you can buy commercially from a company. And we need to do this process in a dark room. And he can use the yellow light, it doesn't hurt the s but you cannot use uh, white lights. So I'm going to spread this s on my glass slides. We need to try to spread it uniformly. Two milliliters for each slide. Next step is we are going to place our glass slides with a sugate inside a spin coater. What spin coater does is it just vacuums, sucks the air between the glass and this, its piece and it holds the glass very tight and then it just turns it in a very high velocity. So by the effect of the centrifugal force the estuate will be spread out the glass spread out on the glass slide uniformly. So by adjusting the velocity of the spin coater we can adjust the thickness of the estuate film. So since we want 20 micron thickness we are gonna use 2000 RPM for this one. So we place our glass slide and now we are gonna start it. So it will start slowly and then it will accelerate it to the 2000 RPM.
Now we got a uniform distribution of SU8. We got some bubbles which which are undesired, but anyways, we can still proceed with this one. So now this is the soft baking process. We just take out our glass slides from the sipping water. We need to bake them a little bit uh, before we expose them to the UV light. So soft baking process has two steps. First, we put our glass slides. Uh, at 65 centigrade, centigrade Celsius uh, for two minutes. Then I'm gonna move those slides to the other hot plate, which is at 95 degrees, and I'm gonna keep those at, there for five minutes. And after that, we are gonna move our glass slides to there to give the. This is the pattern we are gonna manufacture. So this is a ultra high resolution printout, which is a resolution of 20,000 DPI, which means dot per inch square. The standard uh, resolution of desktop printers are 600 dpi, so this one is 20,000, so which is really ultra high resolution printout. So I'm gonna put this mask on top of my SU8, and once I apply the UV light, the parts that see the UV light become solidified, and the dark parts which doesn't see the light will become same, still remain same. So let's see. I'm going to put it like this. And I'm going to tape it. So actually this process is also called uh, uh, photolithography. Lithography means printout and photo means we are using light. So we are going to print some pattern on our glass slide by using light, UV light. So I'm going to place my glass slide under the UV light unit. And we are going to apply UV light for 5 seconds, 6 seconds.